Hello everybody. So today I wanted to create a video to help you calibrate the point controls helmet mounted system and also the finger control units that you see here. So first let's zoom in and take a look at the helmet mounted system. You can see here that it's on my Pimax. It's connected to the front and all it takes is some double stick tape that Miles provides and you'll be able to mount that on there. When you first get the mount system here, there's gonna be a gap there and a lot of play there. But once the double stick tape goes on, it's on there solid um, and uh, you don't have to worry about it falling off or anything. Okay, so that's the helmet mountain system. You'll see two buttons uh, on the left and the right. Uh, those are gonna be important because we're gonna use those to enter into calibration mode. The white button in the center in the back there that you see is to just reboot the point control, uh, the helmet mountain system. Okay. Now let's take a look at the finger control unit. Uh, and it's quite simple. All it is, is you strap it onto your finger and you basically have three buttons that you use here to um, make your choices. And you have the on and the charging um, hole there. Okay, and then the infrared obviously is there. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to mount this GoPro on the helmet itself so that you can see how I'm calibrating, what it takes. Um, etc. Okay, here we go. Okay, through the magic of video editing, you didn't see me struggle for about 10 minutes getting that GoPro on my helmet. Uh, and these are VR Lens Lab goggles that I have. Um, because I have multiple uh, goggles, VR goggles, I find these very useful. They're a little bit flat though, just so what I did was I stuck a foam tape uh, on the back to separate that from my face a little bit. So let's put this on. Not the most attractive things, but it's VR, right? So what do we care? Okay, so let me put on my helmet mounted system and I'll guide you through the setup of the calibration. Okay, here we are on one of the instant missions for FA-18. Um, I just have the autopilot on and let's go into the calibration mode right now. And what the way to do that is to click on the button to your right um, in the front and you're gonna hold that down for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And what you're seeing now is a two cursors that are drawing a box, okay? And there are three different modes. So the one in the center that you're seeing right now is actually meant for the windowed mode that I'm using. The, from Miles, what you're, the best practice though is to use the stretched mode or Alt-Enter to go to full screen. Um, and the reason for that is because you don't want the finger control units, the mouse on your fingers, to lose uh, its focus and go outside of the game, okay? However, when you first start out, the, there are three different modes that you can choose from. The one that's in the center right now is the windowed mode, which I'm using for the sake of making a video. Um, and what you, all you have to do is click the left button here that you see and hold it down while the cursor uh, reaches the bottom. So I'm holding it down now and it went past the bottom and you'll see that the blue now is shifted over to the left. Let's hold it down again and now, okay. So now that we're in the centered mode that we want, what we're going to do, actually let me move it over to, yep. Um, I'm gonna hold down the right button here so that we can lock that in, okay? So we're gonna hold the right button here, locked it in. And then you see here on the left-hand side, there's a cursor. And what you're going to do is you're going to close your left eye and let me turn on my finger point control units here. And I'm going to press the button and move it left and right. And you're gonna do that while you have your left eye closed and right at that edge there with your right eye open, click on it to lock it in. And now the cursor jumped over to the right. So you're gonna move that with your right eye closed this time. You're gonna use the left, left and the right button. And at the edge, lock it in with the button closest to the LED. Same thing at the top. Uh, it's already at the pretty much at the top there. So I can move it up or down. And then once at the edge, lock it in with the button closest. Now it's on the bottom, so I need to move it down, move the cursor to the bottom as far as it'll go, and then lock it in, okay? And that's it. The next thing you have to do is you need to point 
And this one, you're going to use the, the farthest button from the LED to lock it in. And then you're going to see and point to the right, the cursor, and again, point using the, the top furthest button here. And then I see the button there. So, I, and then I see here and I point it. And now that's it, we're calibrated. Uh, and you can see the mouse moving around on my MFD and you can see that we can control it. Click on things. I can turn on the hook, put up the hook. And you can see my hand and finger kind of, you can see how it sits there and follows my finger. And I can do the same over here. I can toggle the MFDs or I can click on jettison or I can click on, I don't wanna do that, emergency jettison button. I can do this um, and that's it. That's all it takes to calibrate the helmet mounted system. We'll have the detailed instructions as well, but I thought it would be easier if I showed it to you in action. Okay, I'm gonna lock the comments here because instead of going between YouTube and DCS forum, um, I just rather keep everything on the DCS forum, okay? And if this is the first video you're seeing of DCS, come check us out. It's from Eagle Dynamics and Digital Combat simulation and this is the FA-18 module that you're seeing. Okay, thank you very much and the next video that I'll post is the actual interaction of the finger control unit in the game itself. Thanks a lot.